Hey Frank, I downloaded this model for free. You can as well. Let's kind of have a look at this model first. So in is the bee's knees. Let's go Alt H, because I was just having a peek around it. Now the reason why I suggest always downloading free models is see what you can learn from it and adapt it to your modeling style. Now cars, not really my thing, but if you kind of have a look around, you can really see what's happened. Now this file here was an initial blend file, so I didn't have to do anything to it. It just worked. There's no importing of an FBX or an OBJ or anything like that. It just worked. Materials are looking gorgeous. So as we can go in, we can break it down Let's select our glass and hide. And I'm just going to go in and have a look at this interior. It looks nice. Let's click on it. Let's press tab to go into edit mode. And then we can kind of have a look at the geometry. Now the geometry looks fairly simple. There's no modifiers, no nothing on it. So it's really interesting on how he's able to produce such quality and give it away for free. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the other thing as well is because this is a blend file, I can come into shading and I can have a look at the materials. So for instance, that's it. Are you, are you serious? Oh, there we go. All right. So now we can kind of look at how he's done the car paint and we can start breaking down the materials and we can learn from it. Now I'm not much of a materials person, so I semi understand this stuff, but it'd be good to comprehend if I need to ever make a car paint. I can take this because I like what I see. So this is what I'll learn from. So I downloaded this from Sketchfab. So completely free. There are some paid models on here. Um, it would be nice if it was a little bit more intuitive to which model was um, paid. Let's have a look at these rocks. Are these rocks all good? Look at that. Download 3D model for free. Look at the licensing though. This model is for free. Attribution, author must be credited. Commercial use is allowed. But this car here was created by B Gamer um, in cycles. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. And it's all for free. Let's go ahead and explore some other ones. So here we've got another model here. I think this one is Blender Native, but I had to fix the materials. Oh my goodness, it's got an animation as well. So here we can go back and we can actually learn what this model does. So I'm just intrigued. I'm just going to press play. How do they control it? Right. So the animation is just baked. Is there any armature? There is no armature. Interesting. Hmm. With the materials here, well, let's once again have a look at the materials. The materials are very simple. There is just the diffuse, the metallic, the roughness. There is an emission shader and there's the normal. So very simple maps there. Let's kind of have a look at the actual material. This one here, fairly straightforward. I mean, yeah, wow. That's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. And let's have a look at the mesh. Okay, shut up, stop playing. Um, let's go ahead and look at the mesh. It looks very much like a hard ops style. Um, yeah, this is definitely hard ops. Uh, it's a brilliant add on. Um, it is something that I'm trying to teach myself to use. But yeah, look at that. Really simple, nice curves. Right. Interesting. Um, and who was this created by? So this one was created by. Uh, Raymondson. Once again, another free download. Let's have a look at this one. So there's even, what do you call it? Photogrammetry models on here. Look at this engine. Looks. <laughs> Let's jump over into Blender and we'll check it out. And so I set up some three point lighting really quick and you can look at the, it's like really nice details. Now be wary about some of these things. Cause if I press tab, you will see, if I press tab, you will see that this thing is dense. <laughs> um, but it looks quite nice. Um, there's not a lot to learn from this model for me because it is purely photogrammetry. I'm guessing it's photogrammetry. It looks photogrammetry. It doesn't look like modeling. Um, it seems like a, quite a bit of distortion, blah, blah, blah. There's no like 
gaps behind certain things. So for instance, this piece here looks like a plate and it looks like stuff should be behind, um, should be clear behind it, but we can clearly see that there is a mesh there. So definitely photogrammetry, but I mean, I'm sure we could use that in something, throw it somewhere in like the back of a mech or something. Oof. I might search for more photogrammetry. And this one was created by Art Fetch, Fletch, Art Fletch. Um, all the download links will be in the description below. So if you want to, yeah, follow them. Um, yeah, wow. So I mean, we've got collections, so on and so forth. We can explore. Let me just quickly go back. What I'm looking here is popular ones. No, staff picks, I believe. No popular ones. Um, but if we kind of click on, I don't know, science and technology, hopefully it's some sci-fi stuff. Let's have a look. What's for free? Is this for free? Yeah, so this is a very simple model. I would be interested to know how they did that glass shader because that looks quite nice. So I'll probably come back and check that out because that's... Mm, I'm really into, I'm intrigued about the texturing here, how they would have done that. Did they paint it? It kind of looks like a substance painter material but anyway let's jump over into our last one so the last one is this from sketch supreme so simple fortnite character but it can be imported into blender and look this is what we get now it also has an animation so just a rest pose um it does look like if i turn this off it looks like the unreal engine for mannequin so we should be able to like import it straight into Epic pretty easy. Yes, wow. One thing I did know though, is when I imported the FBX, I had to reset up the materials. The, when the material, when the model came in, this normal map was already sitting here, but the strength was on zero. So that was something I realized we got a bit of a problem. But the strength, I put it up to about two just to really highlight that strength. And then the model really popped out a little bit more. So it's something just to be mindful of if you're going through models and FBXs or OBJs. It might have been an OBJ. Just kind of keep that in mind. But anyway, it is amazing. There is so many free objects over on Sketchfab. Go check it out. Um, you know, if you can download something for free, it saves you time. I don't see it cheating. I see it saving time pretty important so anyway if you like this video hit the subscribe button hit the like button leave a comment let me know do you want me to keep finding free 3d model resources let me know hey frank you good cool thanks cool